In previous videos, we've already established that the 3800 supercharged Fiero dominates. I used to eat and drink down there. We got Coca-Cola products. We do have ice for sale. <laughs> Since I uploaded the first two supercharged Fiero videos almost two years ago, I've received over 100,000 views and over 400 comments. The comments have been mainly positive and asking for more information about the various aspects of the build. The engine, the body, the tires, the brakes, and the interior. So stay tuned as we walk through the various components used to build the Fiero Street Dominator. Through its short five-year production run, the Fiero came with two engine options. The 96 horsepower 2.5 liter 4 cylinder and the hot ticket, the 140 horsepower 2.8 liter V6. Pontiac Fiero GT. Back in the day, this guy was pretty fired up. Want to see something really exciting? The stock 140 horse 2.8 liter V6 is fun for a little while, but clearly more horsepower is in order. Lucky for us, we have a large supply of GM Series 2 3800 supercharged engines that came in 97-ish to 2003 Grand Prix GTPs and Bonneville SSEIs. In 2004, they came out with the Series 3 3800, um, which had some improvements and maybe a little bit more complicated of a swap. But the most important part here is by swapping to this engine, you're, you're going from 140 horsepower to 240 right out of the gate and the torque is going from 170 to 280. A huge improvement and for many enthusiasts it's enough and they stop right there. I decided to go with a handful of carefully selected upgrades to boost the power output. Like any hot rod you want to take a look at the exhaust first and the 3800's the rear manifold exhaust manifold is notoriously restrictive so that was replaced with what's called a power log from ZZ Performance. Um, the rest of the exhaust on the top here, the crossover and the manifold on the front side of the motor, they're not terribly restrictive, so they stayed. And then I do have a custom exhaust the rest of the way, which is, I think, two and three quarter inch tubing, if I remember right. And I used a muffler for a stock 1993 to 97 Camaro Z28. That quiets things down nicely while minimizing back pressure. The next upgrade was a camshaft, again from ZZ Performance. I went with their VS cam, which bumps the horsepower output by about 40 horsepower. So that gets you up to about 280 and let's just say another 10 for the exhaust uh, versus in the standard configuration GTP. So we're up to about 290 with just the cam and exhaust so far. And then the next thing we went with is we converted it to E85. And on an engine like this with the kind of the modified root style blower on top, they stock have about six and a half pounds of boost before you start getting a tremendous amount of knock because it, it heats the air up quite a bit over ambient air pressure, or excuse me, air temperature while it's compressing it. So that's kind of the limiting factor on power. By switching to 85, which is around 105 octane, give or take, Plus it cools the intake charge greatly. We can run a much smaller pulley on the front. And this one here is a 2.8. And I can run a full, I think I'm running around 20 degrees actually of ignition timing on E85 with a 2.8. And the boost level peaks out at close to 14 pounds. So with uh, the addition of the E85, the aggressive timing and the boost on top of the other modifications to the motor, that gets us up to around 385, which is uh, enough to make this a high 11 second in the quarter mile Fiero. Hey, that does it for this video. Keep an eye out for part two, which will be coming soon. And as always, if you like this video, please remember to click like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.